So you want to know what it's like to live inside San Carlos, California. I'm going to give you a detailed look at everything that this city has to offer. Now we're going to check out lots of places today. Shopping, places to eat, dining, and what housing ultimately looks like. You can see behind me the incredible views from the top of the hills of San Carlos. And don't forget to stick around until the very end because I'm going to take you around for a walking tour of downtown San Carlos. Hey everyone, if this is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first one to find out about life and real estate in the Bay Area. My name is Spencer Sue, your favorite Bay Area real estate agent. My goal is to help people just like you find a home and make a smooth move to the Bay Area. All right, so we're here in San Carlos today. The city is known for its beautiful neighborhoods, excellent downtown, a quiet suburb, and top tier schools. It's conveniently located between San Francisco and San Jose, making it a great place to live for those who work in either city. The main highway that connects San Carlos to the rest of the Bay Area is Highway 101, but you can easily get to other cities by going through El Camino Real or on the back highway of 280. San Carlos is a small city with only 28,000 people and a little over 11,000 homes. San Carlos offers a variety of neighborhoods and housing options. Most of the homes will be single family, but there are a few condo and townhome communities throughout. Let's go check out where these condos and townhomes are located. There are two main areas. One is right next to downtown San Carlos. This makes it easy to walk to your favorite shops, but also easy access to the Caltrain. The other lo location is up on the top of the hills of Crestview, which is where we're at right now. While this area is much further away from shops on the main highway of 101, it is a lot more peaceful out here and many homes will have fantastic views of the bay. One bedroom condos start at around $680,000, while two bedroom townhomes start at $1.5 million. Now, before we look at the single family homes areas, I want to share with you some of the best outdoor and hiking spots here. Because of the elevation, especially along Crestview, you have stunning views of the bay throughout. There are multiple hiking locations, including Polgus Ridge Open, Eaton Park, Crestview Park, and many, many more. Come take a look at some of these incredible trails and some of these incredible views. Now, if you're like most people here, you're gonna want a single family home. Single family homes here start at about $1.25 million and they will go quickly. Most of these homes are built in the 1940s. To give you an idea, for the starting price, you'll get about a one bathroom, maybe small, probably ranges a small home range between eight, 850 to 1200 square feet, sitting on like a 4,500 square foot lot. Now these areas will be in small sections of San Carlos and typically between El Camino Real and Highway 101, or it may be on the busier part of Britain Avenue and on the site closest to El Camino Real. Keep in mind the medium price of a single family home here in San Carlos is $2.3 million. Now, San Carlos is a very unique city as while you may have homes for $1.8 million in a street like this, it can easily also go up to $4.2 million on the same street. I'm walking to give you an idea. You can see there's a lot of new construction. Other cities will actually have like neighborhoods that are more, a lot more expensive than others, but not here. Here on the same road, you can see like new construction like this right behind me. Homes being torn down and being rebuilt is very commonplace here because you have a strong desire for people that want newer construction, bigger homes in this area. Now, most people that are looking for plus or minus $500,000 of, of the median price will be pretty much looking through the middle parts of San Carlos. And this is where the it, it will vary drastically. Some of the terrain are gonna be flat, like what you see here. Some will be on the hills. Typically those that are closer to downtown or El Camino Real will be a little bit less and you can expect the size of the homes between 1,500 to 2,300 square feet and with a lot size ranging between 5,200 to 11,000 square feet. To give you an idea, here's a photo of homes that sold between this price range. Now the interesting part about all of this is that if you're wanting something more than $2.8 million, your search area doesn't actually change much location wise. It's just the size of the home is a big thing that changes more than anything else. So those that tend to be over 2.8 million tends to just be larger homes. 2,200 plus square feet goes up to about 4,000 square feet. 
and the lot sizes don't necessarily get a whole lot bigger. Lastly, let's wrap things up with downtown San Carlos. I'm gonna provide a walking tour so you can see what to experience here. Now this area is the heart of the city, offering a vibrant mix of shops, restaurants, and entertainment options. It's a great place to stroll around and enjoy the lively atmosphere. Now there are plenty of dining options here, ranging from cozy cafes to upscale restaurants. This downtown isn't very big as it's literally only a few blocks long and three blocks width. One of my favorite establishments here is the town as I take a lot of clients to celebration dinners here. I'll take you out there to celebrate if I help you buy or sell a home in this area. You just got a glimpse as to why this city is so popular. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to call us, text us, or email us. We're here to help you make that smooth move to San Carlos or anywhere in the Bay Area. See you next time and subscribe.